Welcome back, everyone. Twitch is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. Today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys for the purposes of giving you all an early look. Today we have the 1990s Nightfall storyline, Catwoman, or you could just say the 90s Catwoman. Nightfall is printed on the side of the box, and I love that they did that. Really nice artwork of Catwoman adorns the card and, of course, the back packaging. Here's the barcode for Catwoman. Hopefully, she starts hitting in around February. Now, this is more along the lines of the Jim Ballant artwork for Catwoman Nightfall, the whole 1990s storyline. She's very much what I think about when I think about Catwoman of that particular era next to the animated series Catwoman. Very feminine figure, very cool expressions. Keep those expressions in mind when we start to talk about the figure because those are the expressions I would have definitely preferred as opposed to the one that we got. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the 1990s Batman Nightfall Catwoman action figure based upon the artwork by Jim Ballant from McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse. And while I got all you Nightfalls here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Why, well, I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And here she is, all out of the packaging. And first and foremost, what I really like about this is that she has a weapon accessory, perfect for Catwoman, and extra hands. Now, the whip itself totally takes me back to the days of Kenner, when Catwoman had a really cool whip. In fact, mostly all Catwoman releases back then had a whip. It's huge. It's a really nice, long Catwoman whip. And it's very malleable. You can wrap it around your finger. Or when she's jumping from rooftop to rooftop, you can totally wrap it around her waist, which is a nice touch. It has all the major elements of a whip, which is really nice to see. Except I would say the handle part gets a little bit thick. And I'll show you kind of how that kind of looks. It might be too wide for the old hands. Speaking of which, she comes with an outstretched, clawed out hand and another accessory holding hand, which is perfect. You don't need any more hands for Catwoman. And the figure itself, there is about five steps forward and about four steps back, unfortunately, on this figure. And a lot of it has to do with the design of the figure. Now, they've absolutely nailed the fact that this is a 1990s Catwoman, even down to the blue and the black hair. That's a nice 90s touch. I absolutely love that. Her face portrait, it's a very pretty face. However, in looking at the artwork of Jim Balance, not a really ideal face. How about a more snarling face, right? Something that really accentuates the fact of she's a powerful chick and she's going to beat you up in an alley somewhere. An extra head portrait really would have benefited this figure. And then we have the diaper. We'll get to that in just a second. Because I really do like the black on the boots and on the gloves. It's an awesome reflective black. It's great. It looks very sleek, very sexy. It's perfect for this type of costume for Catwoman. But then again, in talking about the diaper, right? Here's the deal. It accentuates the back. No problem there. But from a stylistic feminine look to Catwoman, it doesn't really work all too well. And in certain angles, it doesn't really work much at all. But the articulation is pretty darn solid. I give it to him all day. Nice articulation in the arms. The hair will kind of upset the head articulation, of course. What figure, what woman figure with long hair doesn't? That's just how it's always been. You get some nice rotation out of the Kind of, sort of, ab crunch, more so spins at the waist. The diaper does help the legs move. We all know that by now, but it's the way that it's executed. Now, from far away, yeah, you won't pay it too much heed, but when you really start to look at it, especially when maybe she's stanced a little bit uh, differently, it, it does accentuate certain areas that are not very flattering. You know what I'm saying? So, in totality... The figure has everything you need, right? Great articulation. It's got the extra accessory. It's got just the right amount of hands. You got these really cool black sexy boots with toe articulation. She does stand for the most part pretty well. And if you can't get her to stand, you can always use the little flat black stand. So this figure again, it's like, yes. And then you look at it you're like, no. And it's always just that little bit of, oh man, it was almost there. But with the whip, 
and then you give her a good flight stand, you can get her in all those 90s poses. And I particularly like the clawed out hands. Like she's just going to attack Batman or there's a guy in an alley that just needs a good whooping. And speaking of Batman, it's just a lot of fun with the whip. It brings back all those Kenner Batman Returns nostalgic moments that I used to have playing with these things as a kid. And in terms of the scalature between this particular Batman, which fits for the Nightfall storyline, I think it looks great, even with Nightfall Batman or Bane. Bane, of course, being a tad oversized. I think we can all agree on that. But I'd rather have him a big, huge, hulking monster than itty bitty. Yeah, what I'm saying, and in terms of we're almost there, 90s styled green and black Robin. And, well, Mr. Freeze, maybe we'll talk about him next. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. The 90s Nightfall Catwoman. Again, a lot of elements here that are nostalgic, that are great. A nice step in the right direction, but is marred by a few design choices. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, we were almost there. And it's okay, but it's not great. We shouldn't pat ourselves on the back because it could have been a whole heck of a lot better. But as always, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything 90s Catwoman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. we got some more figures to talk about. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm.